My favorite time of any meal is dessert. I don't know about you, but I have a sweet tooth. I'm gonna show you a delicious recipe using fresh fruit. I've got a beautiful pineapple here with some passion fruit. And I'm gonna make you a caramel sauce that you will make for the rest of your life. It is so delicious and it is so simple to make. Two ingredients. So it's dairy free, right? I'm gonna use coconut um, cream or coconut milk and some sugar, that is it. That's just those two ingredients and it couldn't be simpler. But first, what we need to do is attack the pineapple. So you can see, the first thing you have to do when you've got um, a vegetable or a fruit that rolls around and has you know, these, these different things that are a little hard to manage, you remove them, <laughs> okay? So we're gonna cut the top off and we're gonna make it very easy for ourselves. So you just remove the top like that. We're also gonna spin it around and remove the base the exact same way. So we've got it nice and symmetrical. Then you can stand up that pineapple and just with your knife, you just go straight along like this and then you just sort of follow that same line with each new cut, okay? So you're just gonna give it a tiny little spin each time, removing the skin. This is so much easier than trying to do it with one of those giant peelers. This really does make your life so, so simple. And you wanna go deep enough that you get most of the eyes. And when I say the eyes, I mean those tiny little dots. You wanna get most of those off. And then of course we can go ahead and remove that skin. And then the core runs right down the center of the pineapple, right? So all we're gonna do is cut cheeks of the pineapple off just like that. So you can cut those two. And then you can cut these two sides as well. Gorgeous. And then what you can do is go ahead and cut them into a dice. So just that sort of size. So we cut those just like that. Then what we do is we get one of these stainless steel skewers and we can just go straight on through and skewer that pineapple like so. Now, of course, you could just skewer that whole thing or you could lose the skewer altogether and you could just go ahead and cook it. You are the boss in your kitchen. You can do it however you like. But what I like to do is skewer it like this and then what happens is you can just bite one piece off at a time. Instead of having something that's uh, rich and caramelly or chocolatey, fresh fruit really is a beautiful, um, uh, beautiful thing to do. Now, I've got just a little bit of sunflower oil and I'm gonna put just a tiny little um, light brush over my grill pan. Then I pick these guys up and drop them straight in to my grill pan, just like that. Okay, while well they're sizzling away, like I said, this could be outside on the grill, you could be in a grill pan like I am, you could even do it in a saute pan if you wanted to. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get that beautiful caramelization, which is gonna bring all the natural sugars to the sweetness of the fruit and really intensify how sweet that is. While it happens, we're gonna make our sauce right here. So what you do is you grab your sugar and you throw it in to a pan. Now I did preheat this pan and what you'll see is that sugar will start to melt pretty quickly. So if I pick that up and just sort of give it a little shake around, that's just distributing it evenly. Within a couple of minutes, you're gonna see that start to turn into a liquid and then start to turn light brown. As that dark brown starts to come, it's developing that caramel flavor. Once that happens, then we pour in that coconut milk. Now, of course, if you didn't wanna use coconut milk, you can go ahead and use um, cream, heavy cream. We'll do the exact same job. Um, so that's uh, a very, very simple caramel sauce to make, but wow, is it so tasty. Okay, have a little peek at your pineapple. I think I put this one in first, so let's have a little peek at him. Oh yeah, see how we're already getting that beautiful color? That's exactly what we're looking for. Just another minute longer. All right, we have some action in our caramel um, land. You can see how that sugar has started to turn brown and turn into a liquid and of course start bubbling, right? So you just wanna gently roll it around your pan. 
you don't want to stir a caramel too much because it can crystallize, right? It's not the end of the world, but it's much easier if it doesn't crystallize because then you don't have to fix it. So don't stir it too much. The other thing to pay notice to is that sugar is really, really hot, okay? So don't get it on your skin. It will burn you. So just gently roll it around that pan and you can see all that sugar's turning into that beautiful light brown caramel. Turn my temperature down ever so slightly. Let's turn the pineapple. Oh yeah, look at that. Brilliant. Oh, look at that gorgeous caramelization. Perfect. Okay. Once your sugar has more or less disappeared and all you can see is caramel. And when I say disappeared, I don't even want to see, the, I call them my icebergs, those white chunks. You want them to disappear as well. So we're going to just continue to roll that sugar around. You see how it's starting to get that beautiful deep caramel color now? That looks really good. Another minute or so and it'll be time to add the caramel. Now, of course, what we've created is toffee, right? And that's the start um, of the caramel sauce. You just turn that sugar into a toffee, and then we go ahead and add the uh, coconut milk. Okay, I've killed the heat on my grilled pineapple, right? Because I've got beautiful color on both sides. I'll lift it up and show it to you. See how we've got that beautiful color? That'll just finish off for that another moment that I leave it there. Let's have a look at our caramel. That thin caramel should be beautiful. See how we've got virtually no lumps whatsoever left in there. I'm just continuing to roll that caramel around. Okay, once I've achieved the color that I'm looking for, which is quite dark brown, then what we do is just pour in that coconut cream, just like this. You'll see it start to bubble away. And do the same thing, just pick it up. And you gently start allowing that caramel and the coconut to get together. Grab yourself a spatula. And now you can stir. Oh, that looks good. Okay, that toffee's just gonna melt back into the caramel, into the uh, coconut caramel. You can see that toffee that I was talking about, that's what we started with, and that's ultimately what brings the sweetness to the dish. Okay, give that a little stir. All right, while we wait for that to happen, we can go ahead and start plating. So just lift up those you know what? Save your most beautiful one for last. Lift up your pineapple. Skewers like that. And then what I like to do is take a little toasted coconut and I throw that straight over the top. That gives it a nice little crunch. And be generous. I also love passion fruit. As an Aussie, we grow up with this stuff. It's, it's everywhere. It grows in everyone's backyard. And I couldn't help myself. I brought it to California with me, and I grow it here as well. So passion fruit. I know it's not the prettiest looking fruit when you look at it when you pick it like this. But when you cut into it, wow, is it beautiful. It's got this gorgeous um, bright yellow, um, orangey kind of fruit. Pretty tough skin. So you cut through it just like that. And then I'm gonna spoon just a little bit of that passion fruit over the pineapple. And of course, tropical fruit works with tropical fruit. It's that simple. Whether it's um, papaya, mango, passion fruit, the beautiful pineapple that we have here, just beautiful. So just spoon all of that passion fruit over. And then last but not least is our beautiful caramel sauce. Okay, as that caramel just finishes off, here's another thing I like to do. 
optional, you don't have to do it, but if you want to, of course you can. I've got some vanilla bean ice cream and I'm just going to stick one little scoop over the side here. Oh yeah. There's something about caramel and ice cream. They were just meant to be together. <laughs> okay, so we give this our last stir. I can kill it. Let me get a spoon. Are you ready? Because this is going to taste sensational. You just spoon that caramel sauce straight over the pineapple. Drizzle it around your plate. Drizzle it around your plate. Oh yeah. Even a little over the ice cream. Hallelujah. <laughs> so whether you did it on the grill outside, whether you cooked it in a grill pan inside, it is a wonderful way to wrap up dinner. And I tell you what, that, that beautiful caramelized pineapple, you just can't beat it.